I don't know if Trudeau's taking like taking secret lessons or like a class somewhere on how to give Pierre Polyev material to make him look bad and make him lose the election. If you would try to give Polyev stuff to make Trudeau look bad, you would try your hardest. You couldn't give him more than what he's getting already. In an interview with the Halifax Chronicle Herald, he told how he responded to people asking for him to spend even more government money. And he said, and I quote, as soon as you do that, inflation goes up by exactly the same amount. Oh. Right? Oh. Right. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> My goodness. Spending money you don't have actually causes inflation. He, in the middle of having epiphanies, has he also realized that budgets don't balance themselves? <laughs> a reporter during an interview that he can't spend more money because if he spends money it's going to cause the same amount in inflation that means you knew when you were spending all that money that you were causing inflation the whole time but we have videos of you denying it and now we have these videos of you denying it and then saying the opposite the Conservative Party has been using that approach uh, about concerns on inflation to stand against things like national uh, food programs for kids or dental care for seniors. They have stood and objected against and even campaigned against dental care for seniors over the past many months. But we've delivered to over 100,000 seniors of the 2 million who've already registered for dental care the support that they hadn't gotten in years or even decades. But he stands against it with some uh, you know, made-up excuse around inflation when delivering <laughs> services delivers for Canadians. Like, Pierre Polyev doesn't even have to work hard to make Trudeau look stupid, man. All he has to do is show the truth. He calls his own words a made-up excuse, Mr. Speaker. You can't make this stuff up. He said that when people ask him, can you send us more benefits or send us an extra $1,000 a month? Well, he responds, as soon as you do that, inflation goes up by exactly the same amount. Right? And then you open the door for Paul Yev to call you out again for saying the budget's going to balance itself. Who the hell says stupid stuff like that? The budget will balance itself. That's one of the dumbest things I've heard a politician say. Oh, the budget's, ju the budget's just going to balance itself if we uh, spend like double our national debt. That is exactly why over the past years we've been focused on bringing down inflation by supporting Canadians and it is working for the past four months, Mr. Speaker. Inflation has been down in the Bank of Canada target range while we continue to increase supports for Canadians, increase dental care for Canadians with Conservatives that campaigned against, supports for seniors, supports for young people, increased investments in child care, bringing child care fees down to $10 a day. These are the investments we're making that do not add to inflation, but add to Canadians' well-beings as they're making ends meet. That's what we stand for, Mr. Speaker. I am telling you, man, Trudeau is taking secret lessons at night. He's taking like a class, something where people are giving him tips, showing him how to give Pierre Polyev more material to make him look bad. Like, he has to be.